Hello viewers. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add digital signatures to a SOAP request using the SOAP UI. This might sound a little absurd for you. Uh, so uh, before we try to understand what I'm trying to do, so let's first open up a, a WSDL project, uh, a SOAP project and call that SOAP service. So I have this uh, WSDL, uh, WSDL, Web Services Description Language. So I'm going to copy this. Uh, so WSDL is a specification for SOAP services, which states various informations about uh, the operations that it uh, implements all that information, right? So it's the documentation sort of for the SOAP web service. So with this uh, WSDL, I can create a project here in SOAP UI. I can give this uh, WSDL here, and this seems to be uh, the project name is number conversion. Uh, so let me just uh, use uh, this name. SOAP UI uh, knows how to extract details from that WSDL and create the project so that uh, if you just open up one particular request, so it will create two uh, sub uh, request types, one for SOAP11 request, other one is for SOAP12 request. So I just opened up SOAP12 and you see uh, this SOAP request uh, wrapped inside a SOAP envelope. And there is this header field and then the body field. Uh, so this particular uh, request seems to have one operation name uh, number two dollars. So if I just put seven here and just make the call, the actual request goes in and brings back the response with a 200 OK and uh, other details. So this is the SOAP response body and you see this seven dollars. If I just uh, shift to this XML view, this is what happened. So basically what I just did was uh, using the X, uh, using the WSDL file, I created the SOAP project uh, in the SOAP UI. And SOAP UI is a client, a SOAP client, uh, which knows how to call that SOAP service because all the details are available in the WSDL file. And uh, it, it even gave me the the payload uh, that is uh, required uh, to be used in that particular OAP so, uh, request. So starting off, uh, I should say SOAP as a protocol uh, right now is not used much. However, there are legacy systems, legacy services still out there which uh, is using SOAP. So it's not uh, something that you should truly keep away from uh, in terms of learning point of view. So it's good to have these uh, thing uh, uh, in your knowledge base as well. So what I'm trying to do right now is uh, the SOAP specification uh, extends further uh, with some other specifications like WS security specification. So WS security specification uh, gives details about how you secure uh, SOAP messages and so forth. We know using uh, HTTPS transport protocol, you can achieve some level of transport uh, level security. Not some level, but uh, to a certain extent uh, with encryption, all that you can achieve transport level security. However, for message level security, when it comes to authenticity, integrity and non-repudiation, uh, uh, checks how can we achieve that so when I say authenticity how do you know a particular message was sent by a specific person or specific client and integrity is like how do you make sure that it was sent by the person in the same way that uh, you know uh, that he was really sent initially and you make sure that it was not tampered in between, that is integrity. And non-repudiation is the fact that even the sender cannot deny the fact that he didn't send the message. 
So for all these things, WS security uh, adds functionality for SOAP in terms of uh, digital signatures of your payload. So basically when you have this XML message, your body can be signed and signature values can be added to the SOAP envelope itself so that the receiving party, your service, SOAP service, if needed, can verify that. So how do we uh, accomplish that? Usually in, in practice, how, do, how, how uh, SOAP clients and SOAP implementation services accomplish is uh, SOAP clients will sign the body or whatever the reference part of the body uh, which it requires to sign uh, using a public uh, using its private key and a private key public key pair exists for that client and the public key of the client can be freely distributed uh, to a service and the service can have that public key and when uh, the message goes back to the service the signed message can be verified using that public key for the digest value as well as the signature value. So if those verification passes, then obviously the service side can assure that uh, the, the authentic authenticity and the integrity of the message as well as the non-repudiation. So this is what exactly uh, is being done in uh, WS security. One part of WS security, WS security is a huge specification. So what I'm trying to show you here is how to make testing of that sort. So uh, usually for you to write a SOAP client manually using a programming language and do this testing is going to be really hard, cumbersome. So having this SOAP UI client and for it to have that capability inbuilt and send these signed messages to a service is going to save you a lot of time. For this, we particularly uh, first need a uh, a public key private key pair and basically I want a key store uh, uh, for this so let me first create a key store using the key tool I have uh, Java installed in Java distribution in the JDK distribution you have a key tool uh, as, a, as a tool for you to uh, uh, manipulate various key uh, level functionality so basically in this particular command what I'm doing is I'm creating a key store name uh, named new key store uh, with the password for the store being my password and for the, the private key uh, password is also the same. And there are other details that uh, we need to provide there as well. For example, we also need to provide the key algorithm and the key length. So once we do this thing, basically it creates a key store for us. From this key store, however, we, I can also export the public key if I really want to. So let me just uh, use this thing for that. So uh, for this, I need to change it to my key store. Uh, key store is new key store. And my alias is new cert. And when I say this, it will ask for the password. And you see the, the password file is created. And you get the, the public certificate of the, the uh, a certificate that got created when I created this uh, tool. So that's just there. That's fine. So now what I just need is the, the key store for, for SOAP UI. To add that, uh, first I need to double click this. Uh, project configuration and go to WS security uh, configuration and then go to key store section and I need to add my key store. So I'm going to add the key store here and need to provide the password. And uh, you see uh, the password is added and you shouldn't see anything in the alias password because uh, we, don't, we haven't provided an alias password when I created the key store. So that part is done. So now I need to add the signature part and for that configuration I need to modify this outgoing uh, WS security configuration. When I just uh, expand that section you see all these four tabs 
uh, I added the key store in the key store tab. Then I come to this outgoing WS security configuration tab to do that configuration. So let's add a name for this. Let's say signature. And then I go to this section here and maybe I can add a timestamp. Usually when, when you send uh, signed information, you also send a timestamp uh, for your service to verify. Maybe when you send your SOAP message, you want that, uh, you, you have to make sure that particular uh, message arrives uh, for the service and uh, uh, within, within like five seconds, for example, right? And uh, if, if it comes beyond five seconds, it should not be accepted for whatever reason. You should uh, doubt whether it is the right person who has sent that message. Uh, for such purposes, you can add a timestamp. And if someone tampers that, obviously the signature is going to be uh, invalid as well. So it's very safe. So when we add this, it's going to ask me the time to leave. But I'm going to add something very uh, liberal here. And uh, millisecond precision, I'm going to just uh, leave it off. So that's one. And then I can add another section. In this case, I, um, I, can, I can provide the signature section. And then here it's going to ask me various details of how to sign the message. So for here, I can provide my key store, which I added here. Alias for my certificate, password. For my key store and uh, the key identifier i can say binary security token or whatever we can add let's add that uh, signature algorithm usually th these are actually coming from the ws security uh, specification right so i can say rsa and uh, signature canonicalization is basically how the signature should be uh, added to the, the SOAP uh, envelope. Uh, that's what it says. So usually you, you choose the C14N uh, canonicalization method. And digest, again, there are various digest algorithms out there. So you should choose one of that and your service. So service implementation should also use the same digest algorithm uh, to, to check for the digest value and all that, right? So I'm gonna uh, choose uh, uh, let's say uh, maybe SHA-1, okay, and then use single uh, signatures and all, all these values. So this should uh, suffice uh, for the time being. So with this information, I can now go to my request and send uh, the, the payload. So now, now, now e even at this point, it will just go and call without uh, that signature value because my service is not expecting that but if you really want to add that thing you have to right click the 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 pane here and in the outgoing WSS security you can say apply signature when you say apply signature note how it changed here so when I just make the call it still goes and very uh, you know sends me the the response back because this particular service is something that's available publicly which is not verifying or checking for the signature but uh, the, the the reason that i wanted to show this in the soap ui is for you to do this testing for such services which will do the signature verification so in this case even though it is not doing uh, you should know how to do this thing so basically now if i just copy this thing and i'll show you a sample of this here um, so let me, yeah, so I just uh, copied that to a VS code here. So this is the response, uh, the request body, but you see the uh, the header section. So I just, I'll just bring it down here and WS security section is there. And underneath that you see a binary token, binary token value you see our certificate uh, added there. There are various ways that you can say for uh, uh, send that information along with your request. So this is one way. So binary secure token is just added like that. So if you look at the signature, uh, 
you know signature is wrapped with uh, signed information and then canonicalization method these are all coming from our uh, uh, setting that we chose earlier on and uh, yeah so these information are there that signature method again uh, we chose something uh, which gives us the details um, and also finally you will also find the digest value of our entire request and finally the signed info and the signature value is sent here so the the receiving end will have to make sure it verifies this signature as well as the timestamp if it requires right so for example you see the timestamp value here uh, that value can also be verified when it was created and when it is supposed to expire so these values can be used to verify uh, when the message was sent and whether it is in acceptable range all that right so this is one so there's another value here uh, in case if i had used for example security token reference uh, in instead of uh, uh, for example if i had chosen here in this section uh, if i had chosen x509 certificate uh, it would have been like this the key identifier but here in this case it uh, shows as binary security token anyhow so that comes to uh, uh, you know that brings us to the end of this video so i just wanted to show you how this sort of a thing can be made quickly for you to test uh, services that requires a signature along with your request so instead of writing your own SOAP client, you can use SOAP UI to do that hard work for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in another video of similar nature very soon. Thank you very much.